And I guarantee you that that person that you're working with, the pharmacist, the other technician, an assistant, you will work with pharmacy students. We all help each other. And I think that's the best part of the profession. Well, my story is not um, ideal. In my 1920s, I was doing journalism and I got pregnant at the time. And after I had my daughter, I realized journalism is not for me. So having said that, I decided it's either a pharmacy technician or dental hygienist. After talking to a few people, I realized, yeah, dental hygienist is not for me. So why not just do pharmacy technician? My first interaction was with a pharmacy in my hometown, with our regular pharmacist who I was able to get to know quite well and became someone that I looked up to. She was initially the person that had spiked my interest in pursuing a career in pharmacy, as I saw firsthand just what pharmacists were capable of and how impactful they can be for the public's health and well-being. I do hope that one day I can share my experience and my journey in pharmacy school and help other students with their path. I really enjoyed MTM, which is Medication Therapy Management. It's a series of classes that we start in our first year, and I find that it really helps you build your confidence in speaking to patients, and it's extremely applicable to real life, and it really helps you build your skills in being able to speak and counsel and um, answer drug therapy problems in real time. So I found that MTM is extremely useful, and it ends up being my favorite class. I was the only black person in this in the program only black person and i felt like oh my god i have to do well my family depended on it i had my mother in my ears telling me you have to do good you didn't finish journalism you have to finish something in school and then the more i did pharmacy technician i realized that i actually love doing the teachers were great the camaraderie in the program was excellent and i didn't feel any difference being the only black person I found that the biggest challenge was, um, I guess, imposter syndrome, just sort of seeing your peers sometimes. They seem extremely successful and they seem like they're always on top of things. Um, and it's very dangerous if you start comparing yourself to them. So I found that a big difficulty of mine was when I entered, um, it was important for me to like not compare myself to others, sort of just focus on what I'm doing and um, focus on my own goals. Um, and I find that you end up being more successful in that way rather than focusing on what other people are doing and uh, sort of seeing yourself as not being worthy of being inside the program. Due to this year being online, I felt like I had no Indigenous community within the profession of pharmacy and lost some of my culture along the way. This did continue when school went back to in-person, as activities were extremely limited for a while and there was a lack of Indigenous community within the profession of pharmacy. There is a new organization that has just been launched called the Indigenous Pharmacy Professionals of Canada. I myself have been given the opportunity to be part of this organization as a board member. The IPPC is striving to create a supportive community for Indigenous pharmacy professionals. We are also excited to now have the opportunity for Indigenous peoples to see themselves reflected in our profession. This is a great opportunity for students within the profession of pharmacy like myself or Indigenous students wanting to apply. If you're not certain, just ask someone. Because I had a mentor, he's third generation pharmacist. That was his pharmacy and he was excellent. And he's always pushing me, do this, do that. It's okay, you make the decision. I'm 100% behind you. And I was given that opportunity to learn more in pharmacy, to grow, to understand the art of pharmacy. And it teaches you to be grounded, it teaches you to show empathy, and it teaches you that you can do anything anything in pharmacy. Mm -hmm.